Uh, so, well, in between matches, uh, injury-wise, how uh, how are you looking for for Accrington this weekend? Yeah, we are we are as we are um, from the last game. Uh, everyone's come through the game, so uh, it's been a good couple of days in the training ground. Obviously, reflecting on the last couple of games and then trying to put a plan in place to to see if we can get another three points on on Saturday. How? Oh. Greater dilemma is it uh, whether to bring Anderson back, who was in pretty good form before he got sent off, and yet Joseph Olowu has stepped up brilliantly in the last couple of games. Yeah, it's, it's it's always we're always you know juggling between what we pick and who we play and things like that. So it's they're, they're good scenarios for us to have. Um, I mentioned on one of my last press conferences, everyone's ready to go, um, everyone's training well. So it's uh, obviously nice conundrums to have to have you know players coming back from suspension like Tom. Players coming back from injury, uh, one or two extra bodies been on the pitch and on the grass. John Taylor's been training, um, so yeah, there's a there's a it's 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 been a nice place to be over the last um, two or three days, seeing everybody out in the pitches and the sun shining and and training being good. Um, so we're just looking forward to the next game now. To to the extent, oh, sorry, I beg your pardon. To what extent has John Taylor been training? And might he get some football between now and the end of the, the season? We'll see. I mean, look, he's, he's only had two or three days into training fully. Um, and he's been out for a, quite a bit of time, but it's the best he's, he's been, John. I think he's, he's eventually got to the, the bottom of his problems. And I think that will only stay John in, in, a, in a good place for, for him for, for the rest of his career. Um, and he deserves it, like I said all you know, all along. He's had such bad luck with, with injuries and um, you know, it's for him he just wants to get his head down now and crack on. Uh, can I just check on something? If if it's the same squad or a similar squad to the other night, Max Biamu, where's he in his Yeah, we won't we won't see Max again for the rest of the season, unfortunately. Um, a bit of a decent tear in his hamstring. Um, which is likely going to keep him out for probably 10 to 12 weeks, which is really unfortunate because he's, uh, we had him in a good place physically. We had him, you know, worked hard with him to get him to the place where he came in and affected the, the team and, and scored some goals and, and set a few goals up. But unfortunately, you know, that run that he set Tommy Rowe up in, at um, Morecambe has just is, is caused him an issue. So um, unfortunately, he's got a bit of a road to recovery. He has done well, as, as you pointed out. Is he is he someone, given his status, that you'd like to sort of um, get into discussions with for next season? I haven't thought about that, Andy. To be honest with you, um, my focus has only been really on this, the run-in for us, really, game by game. Um, you know, I, I've not even had a conversation with Max. We've only just found out the news, so um, it's uh, disappointing for him because he's 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 certainly um, made an impact since he's been here. Um, and he's been again a little bit like John, uh, very unfortunate with injuries in, in, over the last two or three years. Um, it's not great to see, and it's not nice to see. But look, it is what it is. It's foot, it's a part and parcel of football, and I'm sure these lads will come back stronger for it. Yes. Yeah, so, so well, obviously, sadly, Max added to the list for the remainder of the season. Do you ever sit back sometimes and think, "Why, if we'd have had Miller and Taylor and Close and one or two others available for the season, where where you might be?" We've been very unfortunate with the forwards that we've brought in. Um, you know, I think back to young Louis Marsh when he when he got his injury at, at, at Mansfield um, was just starting to come together for him. Uh, it took a little bit of time, but he started to adjust and got it that it didn't work out for him because I think the Doncaster fans would have seen what a good player he is. Uh, when we had that injury, we went we went and got Connor Carty from Bolton. Again, another young player who's got serious potential, quick and running behind, left-footed, strong, plays a game at Bradford and we don't see him again. And then obviously Max. So we've, we've had our fair share of bad luck with, with the forward area, for sure. John Taylor's obviously a forward as well. Um, and then obviously the injuries have piled up for us this season, but look, it's... It, we can't moan about it. I've spoken about it for for a lot, a lot, a long time, a large period of my press conferences this season. And it's been really, really frustrating for me to speak about it. Um, I'd rather try and focus all my energy and um, guide sort of thing on, on the lads that are fit because they're the ones ultimately that can't help us now. And that's not me to try to 
pass these players on to other people. It's it, it's unfortunately we we are where we are at this moment in time. Uh, they're in the hands of good people, and, and I'm sure they'll get back all these players whenever they're ready and, and be stronger for it. But we're focused on game by game, and obviously the next one is is on Saturday against Accrington. Yeah, and a chance to go eight wins on the spin. You're already on the best run this club's had for 77 years. How proud are you of that particular aspect of it? Truthfully, I've not even thought about it. Honestly, I haven't. It's it's. We just wanted to get back on the training ground really after the game the other night. We wanted to get the boys back in. We wanted to to debrief the both games like we do when we have Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday games. Pick the bones out of it. Look at places where we can certainly improve. Uh, but also show the players the bits that we're really pleased with and um, that's how we do it, that's how we've done it all season, whether we win, lose or draw um, and now we're just focused again, like I say, on Saturday. But go on then, you know, the headlines are the results obviously and the, and the fact that when it comes to the playoffs you, you're right in there with a, with a great chance. What weren't you so pleased with then the other night? I thought the first half we were a little bit slow in our play, I thought we were a little bit loose in possession. The players were well aware of this. Um, you know, we spoke about it at half time. I thought we were a little bit static in our play as well. You know, we didn't move enough to, to, to get ourselves on the ball. Um, even though we scored a really good goal and probably should have scored another. Um, we want to we want to be better all the time, you know, and um, second half we certainly improved. Just a couple of minor adjustments to the players' position. And uh, it certainly it certainly helped us and got us got us another three points. So whether it's about the match the other day then, or just the run in its entirety, what is particularly standing out for you then as to what this group of players is doing? Um, I think what's, what's standing out really is, is, is the enjoyment I see in their face at the minute. I think they're all enjoying playing, they're all enjoying working for each other. Uh, the camaraderie is good, you can't get them away from the training ground, we're having to push them out the door um, to go home and rest. Um, can't get them off the pitch today. I'm, dragging Hakeem in, he just wants to stay out there. Um, this is great, you know, this is all we want to we want to create and we want to create that sort of think that good feel factor about the place and it's been there all season really. I think I remember speaking to you when we when we didn't win for a while and you're saying what's the mood in the camp like and the mood's always been good. It, it really has and it's it's a testament to the group of players that we have but also the staff that's in and around this building because they're the ones that you know can drive the mood and keep the standards high and and ultimately you know you, you keep doing the right things you'll get rewarded for it so um it's a yeah it's a pleasing place to be um but we can't reflect we can't worry about what's gone we have to look what's what's ahead and that's that's Accrington. Just on uh, Adelican, you won't have heard it because you won't have been there but in the in the press conference the other day he said he is in a bubble he doesn't want to get out of quote unquote which is a great kind of summation of where he is right now. He is. He's in. He's in top form, Hax, and uh, you know it's it's been a difficult time for him. Obviously, the last month or so, going through Ramadan and Ramadan and and you know eating at certain times and things like that, and his energy is a bit low. So we've had to manage him a little bit differently, um, and just keep talking to him, making sure that he could you know he got the right enough training and stuff into his legs and. Um, but he's, he's been in top form, he really has, and uh, really pleased to see him performing. He's affecting games, it is why we want, you know, what we want of our forward players at, at this football club. It's, you know, I think as a forward, you'll always be judged on what you've done, i.e. goals and assists. And I think the forward players are certainly, you know, putting really good numbers together for us. And um, hopefully that can continue. Uh, so yeah, next on the agenda, Accrington. Each of the matches this season have been level at 90 minutes, obviously in the Cup as well. What does that serve as maybe a, an indicator of what Saturday might hold? I think it'll be a tough game. I think, you know, look, it'll be a bit strange playing against Accrington without John Coleman, because um, he's been there so long. But obviously John's gone in there now and he's he'll put his own stamp on it. Um, they've had a couple of good good results in their last couple of games. They possibly should have beat Crewe. They've gone to Newport and won, which is a tough place for anybody in the division to go, as we know. Um, so they're a good footballing team. I think it'll be a good footballing game. I think they've got individuals that can hurt you if you're not on your on your game. Um, 
so for us, we know what, what they're about. We've, we've showed the boys some stuff and our players have played against them anyway, so we know mainly about what they're about. But again, it'll be how we approach it on the day and, and hopefully we can, we can deliver the plan to, to, to get us another three points.